Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we're going to look at whether you can use your smartphone as a finder on your telescope. So you have a telescope and you probably have a smartphone and one of the great apps you can buy for your smartphone is Sky Safari Pro. And one of the features of Sky Safari Pro is the AR feature. In which, and so you can use the accelerometer and compass features on your phone to actually pan your phone around the sky and see on the screen what you're looking at. So I wanted to see whether you could actually do that and, and use your phone as a finder on your telescope. So I bought the Celestron piggyback mount, which fits on uh, most SCT telescopes. Uh, there's an adapter that comes with it that you can use uh, for different sizes. So, so I think for the C5, C6, and C8, you can use the piggyback adapter as it is. And then if you need to use it on a larger telescope like a C11 or a C14, it does come with an adapter that uh, allows it to sort of work with the, the different spacing of the screw holes that are on the back end of the telescope OTA. So I attached that to the, uh, the back of the telescope on my C6, put my original red dot finder on top of that, and then I got a smartphone holder, which is the same kind of adapter you can use to uh, use on a selfie stick or use on a tripod to hold your phone still for doing photography. So anyway, I took that, put it on top of the piggyback adapter, which can also be used to hold a regular DSLR camera. And then that allows me to put the cell phone on top or on the back of the telescope and then use it uh, with Sky Safari Pro with that AR feature and have a track around the sky and kind of help uh, identify what you're looking at at different points on the sky. So if you take the telescope, point it at a, an object that's easy to find, you know, a bright star like Vega or maybe Mars or something like that, that's very easy to identify in the sky. You can then, you know, and kind of gradually adjust the phone in the mount to, you know, more or less point at the same object, you know. And, the sky, and Sky Safari Pro does allow you to display rings at various intervals on the phone. So you can, you can display rings at one, two, five, 10 and 10 degree intervals on your phone. And that allows you to kind of, kind of identify the, the par portion of the sky you would be seeing through your finder, for example, or, or possibly through your eyepiece. And so by putting those rings on there, that can kind of help you uh, gauge what you might be looking so, at. Uh, the question is, does this really work in practice? So I have, I have tried this outside on a couple different nights and it does work sort of. So you can actually get your phone lined up to basically uh, you know, match what you see on your screen with what you see through the eyepiece and uh, pan it around a little bit and uh, you will have more or less the same object in the center of the, uh, the, the rings on the phone as, on, as what you see through the eyepiece. However, I found that if you, it does not work over a large degree of movement. So, if, so you if you point your telescope at, say, you know, towards the south and then you swing it around and point it towards the north, it's gonna be off by, by several degrees and, and possibly more than that, depending on your, on your setup. Um, so what I found, what you have to kind of do is kind of readjust your phone in the in the cradle mount there to uh, get it realigned with what you're looking at and then it works in sort of that same region of the sky but if you go too far out of there you're not gonna be lined up on your phone with exactly what you're seeing through the eyepiece however even if you're not exactly lined up it is still handy in that it allows you to sort of identify easily different uh, objects that are that you're seeing in that portion of the sky and what I find most useful is that when you're going outside, if you don't have a preset observing list of things you want to see, uh, you might just be looking at random objects, you know, that, that, you know, you know where they're at and that kind of thing. And then by having the Sky Safari Pro app there, up there right on the back of the telescope, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see objects that are nearby and that can allow you to kind of go pan around different things that are nearby and look at things that uh, you would not have otherwise looked at during the course of the evening. Now, another downside uh, with the C6 at least is that there's not a huge space in between where the phone is mounted and where the uh, the eyepiece is. So you can see, you know, depending on how you're looking through the eyepiece, your head may in fact hit the phone, which can knock it out of alignment and cause a problem with that. Plus it can be just a little bit uncomfortable uh, to look through the back of a telescope. Um, again, the bottom line is that you can use it as sort of an observing aid on the back of your telescope. Um, however, it does not work, you know, by itself as a finder. Uh, it's not quite accurate enough in that in that sense. And part of the fact too uh, is that is difficult unless you have some type of uh, of holder that allows you to have fine control of how the how the phone is pointed. It's difficult to get it aligned precisely in the first place as well, since you're kind of just uh, using the friction of the mount to kind of hold the phone in place, and then that can shift a little bit too as you move the, as you move your uh, your telescope around. So you can use your phone as an aid due to your observing, but you can't use it as a finder all by itself. So anyway, clear skies and thanks for watching. Bye.